Greetings, Commanders. So today we are playing Elite Dangerous, and what I want to do today is to showcase the hangar, the fighter hangar, should I say. I have a crate MK2, this is one of the ships that support the fighter hangar, and uh, what it does, this fighter hangar, is uh, that you can release a fighter from your ship, a small fighter. So I will show you this in optional internal and you have here uh, a slot where you can fit in a fighter hangar. The first time you set it up is uh, this uh, other slot that I'm displaying here that I have selected here is empty and here then you browse the shop and you can select a fighter for uh, your bay and there are different uh, fighters uh, uh, with different configurations like uh, some, on, some of them are lighter, some of them, of them are heavier they have different uh, combinations of weapons and the uh, countermeasures uh, they usually come with a heat sink or a shaft uh, to uh, prevent mi missile damage, for example. And I selected the, in my case, this F-63 Condor. It says that it's a good all-rounder, so I thought that this this was the best for me. So the way uh, you can use the fighter is either you control the fighter. You go into the fighter when the fighter is released and you can give some uh, I think some orders to the mothership if no one is there but also is supported uh, by multi crew so if you are playing with friends one of them can go into the fighter while you control the, the mothership or vice versa or you can hire an NPC to control the fi fighter and this is what I did so if you want to hire an NPC crew you can go to the crew launch and here you can see that I have an active NPC crew Dusty Foster and here uh, at the bottom you can select someone to hire and they have different ranks going from harmless to expert and the price that we see there is an upfront payment that, uh, that you pay when you hire the crew and after that they will earn some percentage of your profits so the upfront payment and the percentage of the profit depends on the rank right so an expert crew earns more than um, let's say a harmless or rookie um, crew so in my case I, I decided to go for the expert so yeah hire an expert it's always a good idea <laughs> okay so uh, currently I, if you saw my previous video I'm in the Colonia system after uh, accepting some random missions I didn't know that uh, it will take me so far away when I accepted this mission it was a courier mission to deliver some data and they I saw that they were paying good money for it each of these missions paid like two million credits and I didn't see where the the, the destination was <laughs> and then I saw that it was 22,000 light years away so it took me six days to to get here okay by the way I'm um, a fan of Elite Dangerous uh, a fan of the Elite game when it originally came out in the 80s <laughs> so we used to play um, Elite in uh, Commodore 64 so and it was my uh, my first experience with uh, sandbox games so this was new at the time so the fact that you could um, play a game that didn't have any um, 
ending to it that there was no goal that you could make your own uh, your own goals uh, there was this huge galaxy that you could explore and you could be um, a trader or a bounty hunter that that that's for that was very new at the moment oh this station is always so crammed I don't know what's going on here now they cannot decide which one will um, leave the station first okay so at last one of them <laughs> went out this and these ships are huge yes well I really love the game when it came out uh, well and imagine I'm really satisfied with with uh, Elite Dangerous uh, like they capture like the original the original um, idea of the game but went further and this this is uh, I really appreciate that the fact also that is uh, set it up in uh, the Milky Way that you have like uh, this um, all these elements of the game that are based uh, a lot of them in uh, actual scientific knowledge is, is really cool okay so currently there I'm uh, performing some missions that have some bounty hunters chasing me so I get the chance to demonstrate the fighter hunger so depending on the on the on the bounty hunter uh, power well for me since I since I have the fighter hanger for me it's easier to face um, these bounty hunters and pirates they sometimes they are really powerful and I, and I cannot uh, defeat them by myself but with a the fighter hangar gives you uh, an edge also if you you cannot defeat them even with a fighter hangar it, they give you some time like to let you escape or ah, there he is or so that some uh, law enforcement ships come that's that's very good so let's see if um, there he is so I will submit to the interdiction and we deploy it here assign the crew and what I do is that in orders I will say engage at will this is the order I gave them and now that's it So let's target him. There we go. So his shields are already down. You see? So this this uh, fighter is very efficient or has been efficient with this one. Sometimes they are more powerful and it's not so easy. Okay. So that was fast. So there you have it. If the uh, fighter is destroyed, what happens is that the NPC crew uh, ejects from the fighter and the mothership uh, will assemble a new fighter. So it has like this cooldown time where it um, assembles a new fighter and then you can release it again. So it's a really cool uh, feature it gives you uh, time to yeah if you if you need to escape it also gives you time to if it's too powerful to escape so let's uh, wait a second i want to show you uh, when i recall the fighter ah let's go through the 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 orders you can give to the fighter 
So you can give the order to defend, the ship will only attack if the mother ship or the fighter is attacked. The other uh, order you can give it is attack target and that means that the ship will, uh, the fighter will attack the, the ship that you are currently targeting. Engage and will is what I usually do because it's the fastest way uh, that the fighter will get uh, will get active uh, attacking the, the the target or the the whatever because it it targets uh, any hostile ship that is in the vicinity. Maintain formation. The ship will hold information to you and will ignore any attacks. Another order is to follow me, so the ship will try to keep within range. Hold position is another order, the ship will remain in position. Switch, you can switch places and you can control the fighter. And you can recall the fighter, this is what we're going to do now. And I want to show you... I want to show you how... What what is going on here so here comes the ship you see that it's it gets in the bay and now it's done pretty cool huh um, okay so I think that's it for the uh, for this episode I hope you enjoy it if so like the video you can also subscribe and I'll see you hopefully in the next video so have a great time bye